Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, a few months ago, Elon Musk and his people at Neuralink came out and said that they wanted to begin human trials on brain chip implants by June 2023. Well, someone else has beat him to the punch, and it's happening right now. It has begun. Thank you to all of you that sent this to me. This is just in from First Post. Biotech firm beats Elon Musk's Neuralink has implanted brain chips in 50 people for ailments. Let me read some of this to you folks. While Elon Musk and his people at Neuralink are trying to get FDA approval to test their Neuralink BCIs, brain chip implants, on people and get them approved for medical uses, a biotech in Utah seems to have beaten them to the goal quite handsomely and has already implanted brain chips in dozens, dozens of patients, already 50 people. BlackRock Neurotech, that's the name of the company, Again, BlackRock Neurotech, headquartered in Salt Lake City, aspires to cure physical disability, blindness, deafness, and depression. The Neuropart Array chip enables individuals to control robotic limbs and wheelchairs, play video games, and even sense feelings. It works by using nearly 100 microneedles that attach to the brain and read electrical signal signals produced by someone's thoughts. More than three dozen people have so far received it. Currently, again, over 50 people. I think this is incredible. Again, we all remember the stories a few months ago of Elon Musk and the people at Neuralink again, saying they wanted to begin these human trials uh, to put brain chip implants in people by June 2023. And here we have BlackRock Neurotech that is already... Uh, put brain chip implants in over 50 people. This is incredible, folks. Now, why is this so significant? Because we can very clearly see the stories exploding all over the world of people easily accepting micro trip, microchips in their bodies to be able to pay their bills, get their groceries, open their cars, store their medical info, etc. And now we are seeing they are actually putting chips in people's brains. And they are making it sound amazing. You know, they're talking about this new one by BlackRock Neurotech that's going to be able to cure physical disability, blindness, deafness, depression, etc. Folks, this is all part of the conditioning process. We are seeing the tribulation period casting its shadow on the earth right here and right now. We are seeing the mark of the beast casting its shadow on the earth right here and right now. The mark of the beast has not been implemented yet. All these stories coming out of microchips and brain chip, brain chip implants, this is not the mark of the beast yet. The mark of the beast does not come about until after the Antichrist is revealed and during the coming tribulation period. There, can no, there cannot be a mark of the beast without the rise of the first beast in Revelation chapter 13, the future Antichrist. But all these stories coming out, again, about microchips um, and now brain chip implants, they're making it sound amazing. So people are saying, oh, man, this stuff is so cool. You know, you can get a microchip. You can pay your bills, get your groceries, wave your palm over the, the scanner. You can pay your bills that way. I can open my car door if I have a, uh, uh, a microchip in me. And now, you know, they're talking about the brain chip implants that will be able to cure depression uh, cure physical disability. You know, they're making it sound so cool, right? And this is all, again, a part of the process. So when the time does come in the future, during the coming tribulation period, people will easily accept the coming mark of the beast, which is something they're going to try to put in your right hand or in your forehead. You're not going to be able to buy or sell or go about your everyday life without having the mark of the beast in your right hand or in your forehead. And the Bible makes it very clear. If you are here during the coming tribulation period and you accept the mark of the beast, you will be doomed to hell for eternity. The bottom line is this. Whoever you are watching this right now, I want you to look around the world and I want you to look at what the Bible says 
and you will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back, and he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking, and it is sinking fast, just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. What Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross at Calvary so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, he was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. Like I said, now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to, again, to put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe he died for you, he was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now, because tomorrow is not promised. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places. If you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. He loves you. He loves you so much. And he demonstrates his love for you for what he did for you on the cross. In Romans 5, 8, we read, But God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Don't wait another second. Get saved right now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming. And he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. God bless you all.